What's up y'all, it's Joe from Petty Fixes. So today, I got another video for y'all, and we doing something a little different today. We are gonna roast the PC. Originally, I got my start from doing client builds. Um, I didn't think about doing YouTube, but before I was doing YouTube and everything, I was doing client builds, so I would fix people's computers and stuff like that, and my last name is Petty, and I fix stuff, so that's how I came up with this channel name. Fun fact for you for today. But, um, I'm sitting here looking at this thing and it's, it's bad. Um, we're gonna roast this PC. And the client brought it to me. Uh, the backstory behind this was, I actually used to work with the client's sister. And his sister told me to call him to fix his son's PC, which was all good. He told me that his son bought a new graphics card. He paid about $400 for it, he plugged it in, and it didn't work, and the PC, the PC shut off. So, um, son's making noise in the background. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead, check out this PC, we're gonna roast it, and we're gonna see what we can do to make it better. Stay with me. Okay, so here's the client build. Um, first off, man, I really don't even know what to say. Um, excuse my mess in the background, first off. Um, just trying to get stuff together, and I just had to put this video together, because dude, I mean, this is how he brought it to me. You know, like, I don't even, I don't know where to start. If you knew where I should start at, comments below say something to me but dude this is this is amongst the worst i've seen and to y'all on the surface it might look okay but i need y'all to understand that this is a very old computer um when i built my first computer it had these components in it i actually don't even know what the processor is because i couldn't get it to boot up so um let's go to the inside and let's see what we got first off the dude brought me the computer with the power supply just sitting just sitting hanging in there like it wasn't even like it wasn't even screwed into the back of the thing like this literally is how he brought it to me like i haven't touched anything in this computer this is just how everything was brought to me ugly ass cables like i don't know what he was thinking he brought me a gtx 1080 and i can tell you for a fact i know that this ain't gonna support a gtx 1080 because i don't even know what the actual wattage is it's three to four hundred watts like <laughs> what the hell dude like come on man you should did your research or something before you bought the 1080 anyways i don't know what kind of card this is i'm assuming it's a gtx not gtx a um rx 560 or 570 because i know it ain't no 580 with this garbage ass cooling solution on it so um and more than likely it's probably msi one i haven't even taken it out so i don't know i don't know what it is the real problem lays right there Y'all know that that's an old ass system. FM2 Plus, that's like the AMD Athlon, the Simpron, the FX type of processors. The motherboard is like a micro ATX. Another um, backstory with this whole PC is that he got this as a pre-built from Best Buy. And um, as a pre-built from Best Buy, I don't even know what year this was sold in because I used to work for Best Buy um around the time these processors and motherboards was out and i do not remember seeing this this pre-built so yeah um i don't even know what kind of case this is what kind of case is this it's does this open yeah it opens it's a nzxt case okay all right minute and oh my f oh my god okay so yeah this dude like never cleaned this out ever the door won't even stay open so this dude like never cleaned this out Ugh. 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 Terrible. Horrible. So I bet it suffered thermally also. It only had two fans in it from what I see. This little fan right there. And then the exhaust fan. So, I mean, I can almost guarantee you just wasn't even getting adequate cooling. What's up, dude? It's my son. <laughs> even he about to come over and roast this thing. The hard drive's just hanging in there. I don't even know what kind of hard drive it is. It's a 2.5 inch drive of some sort. I don't even know what kind of protective casing this is. This is, I don't know if this is that stuff they use on like cell phone bumper cases. I mean, I don't know what this thing is. The power supply just ain't gonna work. I can tell you that right now. It's not gonna work for a 1080. It probably barely worked for the whole entire system as it is knowing that you know the old fx coolers i mean old fx processors were seriously power hungry like seriously power hungry and shut up computer and i mean i don't i don't know so <clears throat> i mean if y'all see anything else wrong with that i mean i know it's dusty it's like super dusty a very i mean it's 
and it's sticky like ugh, it's like tar or something i don't know i don't know what that was on my finger ugh. so maybe this came from like a smoker's house or something i mean i don't know because judging from the looks of that fan filter right there i mean i don't even know how you're supposed to clean that out because i can't find out a way to like take that out but i'm assuming i mean it's dark brown it's dusty and i mean it's just dust everywhere it's never been cleaned out ever ever been cleaned out dust all in there no exhaust fan at the top that's was one of my concerns right there i mean it could have been an intake also you know <clears throat> but there's the computer literally is bare bones like it's terrible only two dim slots for the ram like man okay so some more context um i actually contacted the client i talked to him for a little bit and i explained to him what was going on um this card itself actually um is dead i didn't know the card was dead he didn't he never specified that so the card is dead hence the reason why his son bought the gtx 1080 um a worthy upgrade you know gtx 1080s uh, is, you know it's last gen but dude it's still a pretty solid card and um he wants to replace this this is a um uh amd rx 570. um nothing wrong with the card itself it was a decent 1080p card but the 1080 is a definite leap in performance over this thing so um I told him, I explained to him, you know, I ended up trying to get the computer booted. The computer still, it would boot up, but I got no video, meaning that this had died. Either this had died or the slot, the PCIe slot itself was dead. I didn't think it was a PCIe slot, so I plugged in my graphics card and sure enough, it actually is the PCIe slot. So the PCIe slot is dead along with the graphics card is dead because I put, I put this in my PC and it didn't work but i also put his 1080 in my pc over here and the 1080 works perfectly fine i mean i gamed on it and everything and it was perfectly fine so what we're we gonna do um <clears throat> i talked to him and i let him know like dude i think it may be time to bring you into the modern age and i want to surprise your son with some good stuff and he said okay let's do it how much is it gonna cost so i told him you know you got the most expensive part already you got the graphics card since you got the graphics card you know we'll go over our budget and we'll figure out what we can do for you so with that said guys he actually let me order brand new parts for him we're gonna surprise this guy's son with an actual brand new pc he is not gonna expect it so let's go ahead and go over the parts right now okay so here are the parts the upgraded parts that i chose out minus the graphics card um the processor the ram the power supply and the motherboard so I went with this. He gave me a budget of about 500 bucks and I went with what I could. As you all know, at this current time, power supplies and motherboards are very, very hard to find for actual MSRP prices. So I had to do what I could to try to find these parts. So starting off with the processor, I went with the Ryzen 3 3200G. Um, this has the Vega 8 graphics in it. Now, it's a four core processor for this. Um, this is actually, you know, a really decent budget processor, especially if you're doing like, um, like AAA gaming, not AAA, but like um, eSports. So if you do stuff like Overwatch, um, any other kind of eSport game, this is great. Like CSGO, stuff like that. This I actually run that at a playable frame rate, but he has the GTX 1080, from MSI it's the armor edition it's like a basic 1080 but um, he has that which he's not gonna be needing the integrated graphics in this but the integrated graphics is gonna help us get started make sure everything post so that's a good thing so moving on to the RAM um, this is Corsair, Ven Corsair Vengeance Pro RGB RAM it's a 2 by 8 kit uh, 16 gig at 3000 megahertz um, he won't he doesn't really do like any editing or anything like that So he doesn't need like super fast speed. So I went with that. This is an, um, an EVGA Supernova PSU So yeah, this is a 700 watt um, 80 plus bronze unit This is definitely gonna power that 1080 for sure The other power supply just didn't even have the proper hookups for the 1080 so it didn't even have the right PCIe um, Adapters or whatever so they didn't even have the right plugins, so, but this this has it. I checked everything. This this has everything you need. So um, we're gonna put that in this system. That's what's gonna power everything. Now moving on to the motherboard. This is the B450. I think it's the B450F. 
Strix from uh, Asus. A very decent, very potent uh, motherboard for the price. Um, has quite a few features on it, and this is what's gonna power everything. This is what everything's gonna hook into. So um, I'm pretty anxious to get this started, but let's check out the case that I'm gonna put all this in because we also went with another case. And I'm actually quite envious of this case myself because I actually wanted this case at one point. So let's check out the case. All right, so this is the case. Uh, this is the Thermaltake H200 TG. Um, they have a black and a white one, but I went with the black one because his current case is black. I don't know how much he likes, you know, white like I do. I'm a white guy, you know that. And um, this case is pretty unique. Um, it has tempered glass. It actually opens on the hinge system right here. Um, it opens on the hinge system. It's pretty thick tempered glass and has a nice RGB strip that goes all the way down and it lights up. Even the logo lights up. The term, the thermal, bah, can't talk. The thermal take logo lights up. So, um, here's the IO and everything. You can see the IO, what the IO offers. Um, it has a little RGB switch right there. I'm assuming that this can be integrated into the motherboard somehow because I've seen reviews on this case and they have these lights, you know sync to the motherboard lights and the fans and stuff like that <laughs> my son's back there making racket so but yeah this is the case and it's a pretty nice case pretty compact atx case and i can't wait to go ahead and get this thing started and get it built in so let's go All right, so midway point, I just wanted to pause it just to make sure that everything was working and posting. So like I said before, excuse the mess, but we got post, we got post, we all good. Everything registers, everything seemed like it's good. So let's go ahead and continue finishing this build. So, this is the completed build. Um, everything turned out great. Um, it went through all the checks and processes I needed to go through. Um, I tested it out, it works perfectly fine. Now, as far as what I've reused in the build, I didn't actually reuse much. The only thing I reused was the two hard drives that he had. Um, he had a small um, 120 gig, 2.5 inch drive and a two terabyte, 3.5 inch drive. And I wanted to keep those because he said it had all his files on it. So I just wanted to leave it at that. And I told him like in the future, um, later on maybe if you want to upgrade your storage, bring it back to me, you know, I can come to you, whatever you want me to do. And we'll upgrade the storage for you, no charge. Um, 
as you can see, I threw in some RGB. I mean, there's tons of RGB in this thing. It's great. I love the way it looks. Um, it actually comes with this remote control. And this remote control controls all the colors, all the lights. Um, you know, as you can see, red, green, blue. You know, tons of different effects and stuff. So, um, I really think that he's going to like this. Now, the strip that I had put in here um, at the bottom right here, I didn't know where to put it initially. So I decided just to put it right there and it actually looks really, really good right there. And I'm happy with the location. I mean, it turned out really good. So um, his GTX 1080 works perfectly fine. I did a little gaming on it. Um, it works perfectly fine. As you can see, he has the AMD Wraith Prism cooler. The processor that he had did not come with that. So I took one of my old ones that I had laying around and I painted this round white and it turned out pretty good there's like a little smudge on it but it's nothing that's like seriously noticeable i think the white actually gives it a little contrast as well too so um the ram you may know it's not the corsair vengeance pro rgb ram that's in there um that ram was actually doa <laughs> so i had to send it back and go to best buy and get new ram for him so he can come and pick it up and um best buy's ram was actually doa so i Next day ordered some um, RAM that I previously had in my computer um, from XPG and I really like that RAM too. So it gives it a little RGB flare that I think he might really, really, really like. Um, I sent him a picture of it, showed him what it looked like. He loved it. He cannot wait to get it. He's actually on his way over here right now as I speak. Um, I don't think I'm going to do a customer reveal, you know, a little reaction or whatever. But with that said, guys, um, tell me what you think about this build. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think um, my choices any questions about my choices the performance I did do some benchmarks but I'm not going to include them here I don't have time for it um, uh, I guess that's it guys follow me on social media um, Twitter Facebook I'm, trying, I'm starting to be a lot more active on there subscribe to my channel drop me a like on this it helps the YouTube algorithm get me noticed a little bit more so I can bring you guys more contents and uh, recently I just actually hit a thousand subscribers so I thank you all for sticking with me this long. I know my content's been short, and um, it really means a lot to me for you guys to stick with me and help me get to a thousand subscribers, because literally that's what I wanted for my birthday, and I got it the day of my birthday. So with that said, guys, this is Joe from Petty Fixes. Like and subscribe, follow me on Twitter, follow me on Facebook. I'll drop the links down below. I'm out.